It's done. It's official. It's signed, sealed, and ready to go beginning next season. But most importantly, it's Posh O'Clock. A weird one. Never thought I'd be saying that. <laughs> But here we go. It's officially here. Uh, it's finally, after weeks and weeks and weeks of rumours and speculation, now official. Maurizio Pochettino is the new Chelsea manager as of the 23-24 season. Given the huge news, this momentous occasion, however you see it, either good or bad, be sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you don't miss a single bit of content on this channel. So it's done. He's coming. It's official. Former Tottenham and PSG manager, Espanyol, Southampton and so on, Maurizio Pochettino will indeed... Join Chelsea from the beginning of the next season. Some will be annoyed, some will be understanding, some will be happy even with this news. The fact of the matter is, it's been a long time coming. Rumours were obviously um, that he'd attend the Arsenal game. That didn't happen. So on, so forth. The rumours continued. Many worried that with uh, that the time it's taken, that maybe including myself, a little bit of clickbait here and there, but you've got to do, you've got to play the game, you know what I mean? Uh, Pochettino had begun to get cold feet. Now, whether or not, um, you know, it, it's going to be a success is another story. From f For now, uh, it's just another, um, you know, it's the next act in the Bowley Circus. It also raises a new theory in Chelsea Football Club law in regards to backing the manager. Potter was backed way longer than he should have been, uh, way longer than he would have been under the Roman era, uh, but that alone shows that the board will give Pochettino time and fingers crossed it can't be any worse than it was under Potter, Lampard sort of era that we are currently still living through. Jobs left to be done now in terms of him coming in and doing his part um, is, is obviously num numero uno would be a complete overhaul of the players, which is and has been and will be for a while still the number one uh, target. Don't forget, of course, we still have Malo Gusto, uh, Nkunku, Santos, Lukaku returning, Hudson Odoi, Colwill, and so many more players coming into and back into the team. So the whole, you know, let's get rid of eight to ten players out the door won't make too much of a dent. But it's the players that do go for good as well that will hopefully cause a more positive reaction in the camp. It's all about pre-season as well. Don't forget, by all accounts, he will be given, or, or you know, he will, he will, of course, get the whole summer to, to, to get to know each player that he plans on keeping long-term. Your ZHs, your Abamyangs, etc. probably won't ever talk to Pochettino. The appointment has raised the theory that it could help contract talks with N'Golo Conte, which has seemingly stalled in recent weeks. Sources claiming that they are fond of each other or have a, a mutual appreciation. A name like Pochettino, will it have pool power? You know, pool power despite our current state of affairs? I think so. I think so personally, even regardless of, um, you know, everything that's going on at the moment, how stinky we are as a team. Um, I think that uh, a team like Chelsea, no matter how bad, as long as we don't get relegated, we'll always have, because we have that European pedigree behind us now, not, not just the one either, um, I think that there, there will always be players sniffing around Cobham and uh, wanting to, to sign. It might take a little bit more convincing nowadays, but... Once we get the ball rolling again, it's looking good. It's looking good. I, I'm not sure that we necessarily need uh, a big name, though, given the names that we already possess. Personally, on this whole situation, I'm I'm just glad that it's done. Um, he's here. Let's let's move a fresh slate 
whatever you think about Pochettino, not that you can really have any malice or, or ill, you know, thoughts about him. Do you know what I mean? Um, he's only managed Tottenham. If you really deep it, it's not that bad. It is not that bad. And 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 frankly, he's probably one of the best managers in recent years. Um, so if if he can outshine Mourinho and Conte uh, vs Boas and so on that moved over from Chelsea to Tottenham, it's a win-win. One trophy, one bit of silverware is all that it takes to outshine his time at uh, Tottenham Hotspur. Uh, of course, again, I'm glad that it's done. There's a few Chelsea headlines that have gone on for some time now and don't seem to be getting any conclusion anytime soon, a la Mount uh, and so on. But this one is finally over the line. I think now it's just a case of trying to identify what sort of immediate changes can be made for the better, uh, whilst also appreciating that, again... Given the current situation uh, with the club, um, you know, the situation that's going on, a full turnaround in competing for the title next season shouldn't be an expectation. However, that said, let's not forget the great turnaround of the 2016-17 season following the 15-16 season, if you know what I mean. Uh, that said, that's that. We move. I'm cautiously excited um, for what's to come. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are in the in the comment section below. Will he be at success? What, 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 what do you make of the whole situation? Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Once again, we are on the route to 5,000 subscribers. Thank you to everyone that has done already. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification again. <laughs> My name is Harry Up the Chills, and peace.